G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonsai Works. I'm David. Today I've got a radiata pine, um, Pinus radiata, that um, it's my only one in my collection, but I've had it for such a long time. Um, and it's got actually, for a radiata pine, the actual candles and needles are getting quite nice and small. Now, there's a bit of, obviously people have different ways to treat radiata pine uh, in, in Australia here, in Melbourne. Um, my my proven method and what works for me is I treat it like a black pine, like a Japanese black pine. Where I decandle it in summer and then I can do bud selection in May or May, um, May June in autumn. So, um, sorry, I'm a bit puffed because lifting this tree is pretty hard work uh, <laughs> these days. So, I decandle um, radiata pine, I treat them exactly like Japanese black pine, and it works for me. The only, I think, the only thing. But this also affects Japanese black pine as well. You need, the only issue is you need to have a nice, hot, warm summer. And you know, like it's pretty stock standard, usually having a hot, warm summer. Just last year, unfortunately, Melbourne didn't. Even my black pines didn't really do much in terms of bud, buds in May, autumn. So this radiator is very, very healthy, very strong. You see all the buds. Um, I didn't do any bud selection in May, April because it didn't have that much, but then it exploded now obviously in spring um so again treat i treat radiata pine exactly the same as japanese black pine and it works for me in my conditions some people it doesn't like i know people in melbourne who don't treat them like that and treat them more like single flush pines it works for them but for me double, um, japanese treat them exactly the same as japanese black pine so all you do is cut all the candles off um and then needle pluck. So this tree's radio is important to needle pluck because what I find is the top of this tree, if you leave too much needles, it will actually just keep going stronger and stronger. You can see it's quite heavy at the top. Um, the lower branches are always weaker. Um, so usually leave a little bit more needles at the, at the lower bit, um, less needles at the top. Um, so this is a long process to get through this tree. It might take me a few days actually, because I want to actually Put a repositioning, reposition wire, rewire um, if I've got time. Um, you know, put a bit of wire on now this time of year um, because once you decandle, you can actually see the structure quite well, and you're not you're not you're not knocking new buds off and so on. So, because once the new buds start to come up, they're very uh, delicate, so you don't want to be wiring and so on. So again, for black pine in radio pine, pretty much I work on them twice a year. First time in summer, where I decandle, needle pluck, and wire. And then in autumn, where you uh, bud select, so it's like two buds, where, where you cut off the where you cut off the summer candle, you'll have multiple buds in one section, cut back to two, and you can rewire the tree as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. Twice a year I work on these, but it takes a bit of work. It's a big tree, <laughs> it's quite quite tiring, uh, but we'll get into it really. All I'm gonna do is cut all the candles off and then look at look at rewiring and cleaning up. So we'll see what it looks like um, after this after this process, but if, yeah, probably see a bit of bit of change. Um, gonna take me a few days, I reckon. But anyway, hope, um, we'll see what it looks like. All right, everyone. So totally decandle this tree. Um, it's fairly windy today, so I'm trying to quickly finish this video. But very nice, Clean, cleaned up as much as I can. I need to spend a bit more time on rewiring a lot of these branches, um, as I mentioned. But usually, problem with problem with um, decandling pines in summer is it's close to Christmas and it's pretty chaotic. Um, as, you know, as you can imagine, Christmas time is full, pretty full on. So, but all in all, wonderful tree, really good. Every every angle you look at it, I'm very very happy with it. As I said, radiata pine I treat like black pine, and I'm hoping I can show you the results in six months' time. And it's autumn here and i'll show you the results of why my, why it works for me and there we go so a bit of work i need to spend after christmas probably to just rewire tidy up take wire off and really give it a nice um, makeover but it's just always enhancing that slightly slightly bit more bit more bit more making it better and better but there you go guys pretty pretty even i've been there even down the needles it's probably a little bit heavy up here still might have to get into it a little bit i want to have some time um, but other than that, it's um, done. So radio pine, treat them as buck pines. That's what I can do. That's what I do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.